So for me, for me, it doesn't work so well, right? I don't have too much weight behind me. So what I could do is I like to approach it differently. I like to back out and then back in. So I create a lot of space and then I come back in for the pass, okay? So anytime you guys play spider, guy on bottom with the lasso here, and maybe he's here. This is very common, okay? First of all, like Alex said, like, you, you want to grab the collar grip here, okay? For me, I like to grab the belt, okay? I feel like usually the guy's strong, so if I grab the collar, he, he might pull my arm even more in. So if I grab the belt, it's a little more shallow, okay? So from here, like, you have to understand how this works, right? The first thing you, you need to address is the foot, is, 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 is the uh, spider foot on your bicep. This is one that's keeping it distant. Okay, so if you're trying to smash here, you help the guy on bottom. So what I like to do is I like to back out, okay? So I make sure I grab the pants grip here and the belt grip, okay? So first I need to clear the spider uh, foot. What I do here is I bring my knee in and I jam it to his, his chest. From here, I loop my hand out and I block, okay? Some guys will hold the spider grip here and then if you release, he'll, he'll re, uh, re-pumble. Okay, so I bring it in, I block him, okay? And now here, like, I, I kind of back up a little bit and I step on his legs, okay? I can step on his thigh or his ankle. From here, I pop the grip, okay? I maintain the foot on the, on the leg here because if I let go here, he'll try to go back to my bicep on my chest, okay? I, I feel like there's a lot of trouble with his foot. So, so once here, I bring my knee in, I stop the hook here, and this gives me space to bring my hands in to loop. From here, I can back out and then step on his foot and break the grip, okay? I don't want to be staying on his foot here because like, if, I stand on, like, if I stand on his foot here, it's, I'm like off balance. So I keep my heels connected to the mat here, and now I have a lot of, good, uh, I have a lot of like balance here. Okay, so from here, he's in like a, like a deep lasso situation. So I bring my hand and I cup his ankle here, okay? So I cup his ankle, I kind of push it down as much as I can, okay? And then, then I walk out to the side. Okay, now look, I walk back in for like a leg drag position. Here, okay? From here, I grab his collar, okay? And I want to use my forearm to trap his top leg here. Okay, I let go of the belt. I'm trying to pull my hand out. If I'm, sometimes I'm able to pull my hand out like this to break the grip. If the guy is really strong here, I use my top arm and I use my knee. And I pop the grip. Okay? So now from here, I need to grab the back of his collar, keep my chest low, and I start to walk around to the side control. Okay, if the guy tries to go on his elbow, of course, I pull his elbows in so he can't turn away from me. Okay? So the reason the guy's able to turn is because of the elbow. He'll post the elbow and come up to his knees and start turning. Right? If you take away the elbow, he can't go on his knees or his elbow and then you have, a, you have a side control here. So I'm here at Lasso, okay? I make sure I grab his belt or his collar grip, okay? You can grab collar here, okay? Now you need to address this first, always the, uh, the, the one that's controlling the distance. Okay, so I come in, I bring my knee up, and I stomp his knee into his chest. Okay, from here I loop my hand out. I can break the grip from here. If the guy is really strong, then I block, and then I step. Then I step on his legs, okay? Sometimes you can break the grip like this too. Bring it in, bring hands to the outside, and cup him, and then pull up, okay? So that's different ways to break the grip. I bring my hand in, I stop on his foot, and then I rip my arm back, okay? Then I stop, uh, adjust my foot on his legs. Okay, from here I have a little space here with my hand, so I stick my hands inside, okay? And then I do like a turn on the pass. I walk out, then I walk back in, drop my knees to, to the mat, okay? From here, I grab his collar. I wanna grab low, right? Because if I grab too high, then I can't use my forearm. So I grab about medium, then I put, use my forearm, I pinch his top leg, and I rip my hand out. If I can't rip my hand out, I keep my head on low, bring my knee on top, and then I'm able to do it even better. From here, I drop my head next to his head, on the mat, and then I start to walk around for the, uh, for the pass. Here. Okay, so, lasso. Okay, I need to adjust this like always first. So I lower my hips, I 
bring my knee in. I clear the legs. Okay, from here, I can step on his, his leg here, or I can use the other leg, okay? So you can use both feet. So I step, I break the grip, okay? He'll pull his arm out, and I use my heels to trap him here. From here, I just cup his ankle, keep my chest low, and then I back out, I go around, okay? And then I put myself back into the leg drag. Drop my knees down. From here, I grab his collar, okay? From here, I keep my head low and try to bring my hands out. If you cannot do that, keep pressure and then bring your knee on top. And then you'll be able to rip the arm out. I grab the back of the collar, okay, keep him heavy. As I walk around, if I feel like he's coming with his elbow, I just cup his elbows in and I keep him here. You guys have any questions? Okay, one more time. One more time, yes. It's always one more time. <laughs> okay. So, for me, I, I like to back out, okay? So um, he's, he's really tight here. I walk to this side, okay, I use my knees. Jam him here so he can't extend when I'm breaking the grip. Bring my hands in, okay, and then from here I can bring my leg on top. I break the grip. Usually the guy pulls arms out so it, my feet gets closer to the mat. I block his hips or his bottom leg. I grab like a C grip on his ankle, okay. And if I walk straight to the side here, I can't walk. I, I get stuck. So you need to back out and then go to the side and then come back in. Okay, drop your head to the, uh, drop your head to, uh, use your arm, trip the top leg, drop your head and try to pull your arm out. Grab back his collar and then now you can start walking to the side. Okay guys, all right, let's go. One, two, three. Okay.